Hi, and welcome to Wine Australia's video series, Reading Between the Vines. Throughout this series, you'll hear from grape growers and winemakers about their experience using ag tech. We'll hear stories about the cost benefit, their engagement and the outcomes engaging with technology to help them grow more sustainably and more profitably. So let's jump right in. So we're here today in the beautiful Coonawarra. I'm here with Jay Halada from Athena Irrigation and Hans Loder from Penley Estate. Welcome guys, how are you? Doing well, thanks. Good. Yeah, doing well. Welcome to Penley. Hans, uh, I guess just like to hear a little bit about you. I'm a viticulturalist here at Penley Estate. I've been here for the last five years, but uh, I've lived in Coonawarra for close to 20 years. Um, I came to Coonawarra um, with a background in both geology and viticulture. So my father was a viticultural lecturer. I studied geology, had worked professionally in that for many years. Uh, and I guess what that brought uh, with it is an understanding of spatial science and statistics and an understanding of the natural environment. Yeah, it's a fantastic background. Could you explain a little bit about Penley Estate? Yeah, so Penley Estate established a bit on, over 30 years ago in Coonawarra. It's owned by two sisters, Ang and Beck, and you know we've been making reds, red blends for that time. About five years ago, uh, they realised the business needed a bit of a um, rebranding and also a, a new approach. So they're very dynamic. And so when I came on board and looking at our new approach would be in the vineyard, they gave me a mandate of saying we want you to be hands-on and nurturing and giving something back. Now potentially to their surprise, I suggested that we needed to think a lot about precision viticulture, which is sort of morphed into ag tech and really leveraging data and insights for informed management to really target what we're doing in the vineyard so that we could be more hands-on and nurturing. Fantastic, right. So they've really enabled you to kind of explore ag tech as a, a means of solving challenges within the vineyard to help you change the way you do your business. And Jay, I guess, love to hear a little bit about you. Yeah, I've, you know, as you can probably tell from my accent, I'm just not from around here. I came down here from Chicago about 20 years ago and uh, settled in McLaren Vale, bought a vineyard there, had that for five, six years and uh, have been living in the Flurio ever since. Prior, you know, my, my whole career has been really based around technology, whether it's software or it's it's other technologies and so coming into Athena irrigation was just a natural fit combining the vineyard combining the technology the software the hardware and uh, making pulling it all together basically tell us a little bit about Athena irrigation Athena irrigation came about from some really exciting research into plant sensor devices and surrounding solutions in in viticulture from the University of Adelaide uh, one of the senior lecturers there, Dr. Vinay Pagay, has been working in this area for a number of years and has been focused on the Kunawar, doing this research here for about the past five years. And that's really where the solution, the Transpire solution and Athena Irrigation came from. So Transpire is a, a device, it's a series of technologies and a platform. Tell us a bit about it. Yeah, so the Transpire solution is made up of a hardware sensor that will sit above the canopy, as well as a software solution that sits in the cloud and interprets the data that the sensor brings us and tells you once a day, basically, what's the status of how well the plant, the vine, is using the water that's available to it. What were the challenges and the problems that Penley Estate are facing with regards to managing your vineyards optimally that brought you two to come together? Yeah, it's a really interesting one. I was obviously aware of the work being done in Coonawarra. Five years ago when I came here with my geologist hat on, I immediately uh, had a soil survey done across the vineyard, which gave us a really good understanding of below Penley, what was going on in the soil. But something that I was noticing very quickly was that some parts of the vineyard, even when these sensors were telling me that the soil soil profile was, was dry, there was no water left. The vines just weren't reflecting that. And you know, I was going down as vineyard managers do, feeling leaves and just assessing the, the leaf temperature um, as an indicator of, you know, are the vines happily transpiring? Are they in a good place? And again, it was telling me that the vines were finding enough moisture from somewhere, even though the soil moisture pros were telling me otherwise. What is different about the Transpire solution? The, the Transpire solution has two components. It, it's, it's got the hardware sensor that sits above the canopy. It's got IR sensors, infrared sensors in here that basically do two things. They take the, me the temperature of the canopy itself as well as measuring the ambient temperature of the air. Using all that information then, we take that in the cloud and run that through our proprietary algorithm that has been created based on the research been, that's been done. And we present that in a graphical format that's really easy for the grower to use. 
So Hans, how do you access this information? Yes, yeah, so uh, I can access it on my mobile phone as well as tablet, laptop. Uh, it's basically a web interface. And so I can access it that whether I'm in the vineyard as well as if I'm back at home. So thanks very much for your time today, guys. We really appreciate you sharing your stories and um, all the best with the future. Thank you. Great. Thanks, Dave. It's been a pleasure. Thank you.